Hello FDHS seniors, this is Mr. Hamrick coming to you with a video to share everything you may have missed during our senior seminar that was held on April 20th. The first thing that we're going to look at is some important upcoming events. On April 27th, we're going to be having our senior awards night at FDHS. On April 29th, our school counseling department is hosting decision day. On May 6th, that is the deadline to turn in any senior scholarship or military service information to our counseling department. On May 13th, that is the last regular school day for you seniors. By May 20th, all outstanding debts must be paid to the school, and that includes any athletic uniforms, ROTC uniforms, band equipment, or anything else that needs to be turned in to FTHS before you graduate. On May 25th, we will be holding graduation practice at FDHS, and on May 28th, we're having graduation at the North Charleston Coliseum. As mentioned on the previous slide, Senior Awards Night will be held on April 27th at 6.30 p.m. in the FDHS Auditorium. Approximately 130 FDHS seniors qualified to earn an academic award for this senior year. If you are one of these winners, you should have received an email from me notifying you of this on April 10th. Included in that email was a survey that let me know your plans for attendance. Whether you plan to attend or not attend the ceremony, I need you to complete this survey as soon as possible. Ms. Carter will be emailing some of you individually for special scholarship recognition that will occur during the academic award ceremony. The FDHS Counseling Department will be hosting Decision Week April 25th through the 29th. During this time, our counselors plan on recognizing the post-secondary plans of our senior class. To help you get in the spirit, they're also doing theme days. On Monday, wear your PJs. Tuesday, we're gonna slide into graduation, so wear your slides. On Wednesday, promote the class of 2022 by wearing your senior gear. On Thursday, peace out, just like a hippie. On Friday, it's decision day, so wear your college, military, or work gear to let everybody know your post-secondary plans. Decision day will be held on Friday, April 29th, and the counseling department will hold one final celebration from 11.40 a.m. to 1.07 p.m. This will include fun treats, food, goodies, a bounce house, and several more fun activities. All senior scholarship information and commitments to serve in the military must be turned into the counseling department or entered using the Senior Scholarship and Military Service Survey found on the school website by May 6. You can access this survey directly at dd2.org slash FDHS counseling. We want to make sure that we are celebrating all of our seniors academic achievements and commitment to serve in the U.S. military so in order to do that, we need your information in by May 6th. If it is not entered by that time, we will be unable to include it in our graduation program. Students that have earned college scholarships or have committed to serve in the military and have reported this information to FDHS counseling will automatically be entered in a drawing for some great prizes. Drawings will be held on April 8th, April 22nd, and May 6th. You could win great prizes like AirPods, an iPad, or a big screen TV. And the sooner you enter your information, the more chances you'll have to win. On top of that, we'll have one grand prize drawing for everyone that's reported a scholarship or military service to FDHS Counseling on May 13th. That winner will receive a MacBook Air. We have already contacted the winner from the April 8th drawing, so don't hesitate to input your information to FDHS Counseling. The last regular school day for FDHS seniors is May 13th. Senior exams will be held the week of May 16th and a full exam schedule will be released soon. All obligations must be settled and all school resources must be returned by May 20th in order to walk in our graduation ceremony. That means any laptop, textbook, sports jerseys, band fees, JROTC uniforms, or any other obligation must be settled by May 20th in order to participate in graduation. We will have a mandatory graduation practice on Wednesday, May 25th at 9.30 a.m. at FDHS. If you do not attend graduation practice, you will not participate in the graduation ceremony. At the conclusion of graduation practice, we will distribute all Jostin's cap and gown orders. 
While the last day for seniors is May 13th, important graduation information may continue to come out, so be sure to continue to check your school email and follow our school social media accounts for any important updates. Academic pathway cords, ready to work cords, and military cords will come from the school counseling department the day of graduation practice. All extracurricular and club cords will come in the graduation packet along with the cords mentioned above. Graduation honor medals will be distributed by school counseling on the day of graduation. All seniors must create a parchment account in order to receive their state seals and send their file transcripts to their colleges and universities. You must do this immediately if you have not done so already. You can create an account at parchment.com. Our graduation ceremony is Saturday, May 28th at 9 a.m. at the North Charleston Coliseum. All graduates must arrive to the Coliseum by 7.45 a.m. Failure to arrive on time may prevent you from participating in the ceremony, so do not be late. If you have not ordered your cap and gown, that needs to be done as soon as possible. Orders can be placed through Jostens at their website, lowcountrygrad.com. No alterations or additions can be made to the caps and gowns of the graduating class. Only the approved cords and stoles issued by our FDHS Counseling Department, officially recognized FDHS Honor Societies, and the U.S. military may be worn during the ceremony. Our seniors may wear their most recent academic award medal. Now we will cover our dress code. Females may wear a dress or blouse with a dress skirt, as long as the hem is not visible below the graduation gown. They may also choose to wear a blouse with dark dress pants. These can be black, navy, dark gray, or any other dark color. Dress shoes only. No athletic footwear or flip-flops are allowed. Failure to comply with the dress code will disqualify you from participating in the graduation ceremony. Gentlemen, black or dark colored dress pants are required. Jeans and athletic pants are not permitted. You must also wear a collared button-up shirt with a tie or bow tie. Dress shoes and dress socks are required. That means no athletic footwear, Crocs, sandals, or flip-flops. You may also not wear a t-shirt or a polo style pullover. Failure to comply with the dress code will disqualify you from participating in the graduation ceremony. Additional dress code guidelines for all of our graduates include no sunglasses, no headgear, no flip-flops, no tennis shoes, no modifications to the cap and gown, and finally, no unapproved cords, stoles, or other items that are not a part of the approved graduation regalia. Failure to comply with these dress code guidelines may prevent you from participating in the graduation ceremony. Graduation is a formal event, and we expect all of our graduates to demonstrate patriot pride by showing respect to their peers and their families by being on their best behavior during the ceremony. Unacceptable behavior prior to or during the graduation ceremony will result in that student's immediate removal. Any failure to comply with the request of FDHS staff will also result in immediate removal from the graduation ceremony. The North Charleston Coliseum has lifted all COVID protocols for this event. This means there will be no limit to the number of guests that can attend the ceremony. This also negates the need for our guests to have parking passes. Seniors, in these last few days before you leave FDHS, make sure that you're on track to graduate by following this simple checklist. Make sure that your grades are good and that you're passing all of your courses. Ensure that you're in good financial standing with FDHS by fulfilling all obligations. Make sure you do not get in trouble. Serious discipline issues at this point in the school year could jeopardize your ability to participate in the graduation ceremony. And finally, be on time. Do not be late to graduation practice and do not be late to the graduation ceremony. If you missed our graduation seminar, you also missed Jostens handing out graduation announcements. 
If you ordered announcements or any other graduation related materials from Jocelyn's, those can be picked up from Ms. Canty in our school counseling office. You also miss the distribution of our senior class picture. If you are a senior package holder, you have already purchased this picture and that can be picked up from the front office. If you are not a senior package holder, those can also be purchased from the front office for $10 each. Seniors, if you have any questions leading up to graduation, you can always find me in the cafeteria during ILT. I'd be happy to talk to you and answer any questions you may have. Early graduates, virtual academy students, and any other seniors that are unable to see me in person, feel free to email me with any questions you may have. We are so close to graduation, and I cannot wait to see each of you walk across that stage to receive your diploma.